Well, this was my uh, ever popular rant about jig heads with too big of a hook. And on this video, well, the title, Jig Heads for Inshore Fishing, Hook Sizes, Question Mark, Question Mark. Uh, this is from November 12th. And if I scroll down here, we get to, who was it? Oh, here is here it is. Right here, if you can see. VW Jacob 78. Well, there's not a whole lot of information here about Jacob, but he says, Loving your videos, Captain Dave. I would like to see a cooking vid. Show us how you fry up your trout, maybe. Well, you have to have some trout first. And let me... Here's the rest of the replies. I say back to him, as a swinging dick bachelor, I don't do much cooking. I do fish swimming in oil, a.k.a. fried. And, he sa and Jacob comes back and says, well, I wasn't trying to sound like a pussy. Just always hear you talking about frying up some trout. Just curious about your process. Makes my mouth water just thinking about it. Gonna come see you one of these days if the wife... wife We'll keep pushing out kids. And then he says, how are you liking your new outboard? Well, I came back and I said, okay, no biggie. Caught some Friday and I may do a fish fry up Jetty Wolf moment because I have a case of PBRs. So I have all the ingredients for some fish and beer. So stand by. I smell swimming in the oil. There's some comments and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you. All right, Jacob, my friend. Here's Dave's super ingredients. Trying to stay healthy? Not really, but I got this really cheap at Walmart. I got some canola oil. You got to always, always, always have yourself a cold beer. Mine, my preference is, of course, PBR. Let me have a little slurp here for a second. All right, you got to have a standby. Super absorbent paper towels. A platter. A set of tongs. You want your paper towels down there. Now, I talk about Zatarans, but believe it or not, I'm out. So, if you do fish fries the way I do, this is a giant. How many pounds was this? Five and three quarter pounds of the Louisiana seasoned fish fry mix. You can buy it this big at Academy Sports and Outdoors. And you can see almost half of it's gone. But you got to have either Zatarans or your Louisiana. Then let's go on over here. What I do is I got a little secret formula here for you all. I take this here Tupperware, and when my fish fillets are all good and wet, what I do is I put the Louisiana fish fry mix in here, and I put the lid on, and I toss them around, and I put it in the bottom of the refrigerator for at least a day or two. Wait, let me have another swig here. All right, so, and what that does is it really gets stuck on there. As you can see, every piece is thoroughly, thoroughly coated. All right, and then after that, they go for a swim in the oil. All righty, Jacob, I'm going to have to do this in the shop here for you. Here's my fish cooker the same place that I melt my lead with all my molds down here. I'm going to have to do this sort of in the shop uh, because it's just that's where everything's at right now. And the reason I call this the shop is if anybody's interested in a 225 horsepower Honda that's in a million pieces, just give me a call. So yeah, this is the shop. Um, I have to do a whole video just about this. Isn't this something? Yep. 
that's a 225 Honda that's sort of being repaired all right so let's get back over here to the fish cooking so I'll use a black iron skillet and I'm gonna take some of this here oil so then I'm gonna take a whole bunch of this oil and I'm gonna fill it up pretty high but not that high okay so there you go now when I'm doing a whole lot of fish I got a big aluminum kettle that sits up on here with a big basket that goes in it but this is how we're going to get this started now one of the most important things is having yourself a thermometer this is a big old turkey thermometer it's a little too big but you want to know what temperature your oil is getting up to see so you want to know what temperature oil is getting up to and I usually bring it up to about 400 and I will test it as it gets hot because as soon as you put in the fillets that temperature is going to drop until the oil gets hot I'm going to have me a PBR well if I can help it I never like to cook fish in the house I really try not to do it Frying is so much better when you just do it outside or you do it in the shop here or out on the back porch. I usually would be doing it out on my back porch, but the boards are getting all broken. Alrighty, well, guess what? It's up to 400 degrees. And there goes filet number one. The second favorite sound, first favorite sound is the drag screaming. But you'll never get that out of a trout unless it's a big ass trout. Now you can see I'm all ready. As soon as, as, soon as the flays start floating, it's about time to pull them out. And it all depends on how crunchy around the edges you like. <sighs> Number one. Jacob, there we go. It's all done, and I even double fried some of them. Rolled them around again and hit them in there. Just because I like them super crispy. My fish cooking is sort of like my fishing. I keep it real simple. And it's just quick and dirty here. And uh, nothing fancy. But I can tell you what is pretty fancy here at the Ranchero Deluxe Fish Camp. It's only like 10 o'clock or 9.30 in the morning. I've been up since 4 a.m. So, I guess what you just made me do, Jacob, is you made me fry up some lunch. <laughs> and I'm already having a PBR. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. It feels like it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon to me. A little bit of Louisiana fish fry, some canola oil. I'll tell you, peanut oil is a lot better. Thanks for the question. This will be probably the first and the last of the Jetty Wolf doing any fish cooking or any cooking generally. I'm just not the cookie kind of type.